Hello again everyone, Age of Junior. We're back for another StarCraft 2 ranked game. Silver, of course. I'm going to be playing Zerg yet again, and hopefully this will be going as well as the last two games have gone. Uh, in reviewing the video of the last game, I actually did finally figure out why it ended the way it did. And it was due to a supply block for like the last, I think it was around two minutes of the game. There was a supply block, and yeah. He didn't really enjoy having that supply block and not getting any units for that amount of time, so that is why it ended up ending like it did, which is interesting to me. I, I didn't even notice when I was reviewing the game. I, I did comment on the fact that he was supply block, but I didn't realize it was for quite that long. Okay, so I'm going to be against a random here, so I'm going to want to scout pretty early so I can see what he's going to be. I'm going to be sending a drone across because otherwise I will be completely left in the dark. And I don't really like that idea. I like to know what I'm going to be against so I can go ahead and build for it. There we go. Send that guy up here. We require more minerals. And do the usual good manners thing. I'll probably go ahead and send one up right around the time that I would normally be doing my... Actually, probably right after I start making my Overlord. Okay, you go ahead. For some reason, I figured that asking him what race he is would probably not get an answer. <laughs> I know I wouldn't want to answer. Heck no. Whole purpose of being random, so you don't know. There we go. Okay, so that's done. Either way, I'm definitely going to be building my spawning pool before expanding today. I will not be doing an early expand, as that would be unwise. We require more okay, so he is Zerg, and his spawning pool is actually well on its way. So he's going for a six pool here. I'm not really sure exactly how to fight one of those off, especially considering my spawning pool is so far away. But I think one thing I just need to do is to put up some static defenses as soon as that thing pops. So I will definitely start that as soon as possible because otherwise his zerglings are just going to rampage through me and that would be terrible news. Okay. So his zerglings are probably popping right about now. Let's see, it would be C. So I'm going to go ahead and get me a few of these here. As well as a couple zerglings to possibly fend off whatever he has on the way. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough. It should, I think the three spine crawlers there should be enough to fend him off. But again, I'm not really sure. I've never run across a... Oh, those are interesting looking. I've never really run across a six pool before. So this will be a first for me. It's kind of cool. And I think I'm pretty well set. He's not going to be able to get very much of my stuff at all here because of the placement of these three, so I think I should be okay. There we go. There come his lings. And there's that. He doesn't have zergling speed, I noticed there. Which is great for me. Okay. And I can go ahead and start working on gas here. Probably should have attack moved those, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, it did successfully fend that off. He did not actually come and managed to do much damage to me at all. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use this time to expand. He is actually pretty far behind because of that. So it definitely leaves me with a great opportunity to expand and possibly gain a bit of a lead here. Okay. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on breaking speed as soon as I've got this. We require more and my lair very soon as well. We more yeah, more minerals, more minerals. I know. We require more minerals. Getting pretty close to the supply limit for me as well again, so I need to go ahead and make one of these. And then that and then I'll work on my lair as soon as that's as soon as I'm done with that. I know this is going to delay, delay my injection there, but I want my two things to be connected. We require more minerals. Okay. We require we more minerals. And I also want to go ahead and move. Well, get a couple of these guys to come over and build me. We must place that on creep. One of those. go ahead and start working on a baneling nest honestly probably should have done that before but okay so there's that I do have that now so I can go ahead and start working on this over here okay my spot my bailing nest is here Our forces are under attack and he's got yes. this thing is not up yet I'm gonna lay down some static defenses against those. Hopefully not too late. Forces are under attack. Okay. As soon as I get that thing completed, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out my own mutus. I have a decent oh crap. <laughs> Supply block because of his attack there. That's terrible news. Okay, well. That happens. Okay, so he does have stuff coming in, and unfortunately, he's going in on that thing, which is terrible. Okay, so I did manage to get some of that off beforehand. And now that's there. Let me go ahead and build me another one of these, because he was able to destroy that. Unfortunately, he is tearing my stuff apart. Okay. So that did end up getting fended off, thankfully. But he has a bit of a lead here. <laughs> a very large lead, actually. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and send some of these across to get me some more gas because I'm kind of a bit low on that already. Not really surprising as this particular thing is actually quite gas intensive. That needs to hurry up. 
Unfortunately, it's uh, it's not. So yeah, I'm definitely falling behind on this, which doesn't really surprise me. Zerg is definitely my. I, I'd say that Zerg is my weakest race for this. We require more this. We okay. require more minerals. So there's that. Got a decent spread of them. I really need more of the mutas, though. Actually, I'm gonna send them there. It may not be the best of ideas, but honestly, against mutas, zerglings are pretty much useless. So, we require more Vespin I'm gonna go ahead and send them across, and hopefully, it'll actually be worth it. There's nothing here. Oh crap, nope, nope. Okay, so yeah, he has quite a bit there. On the plus side, it looked like he is actually pretty far behind. It looked like he was right about where I am, actually, so we're both pretty far behind. And this is great news for me. Okay, there's that. I do want to go ahead and start working on that, because honestly, that would be great to have a bit more powerful mutas than him. And I'm just going to continue smacking out some mutalisks. We require it takes what, 100? Minerals. Yeah. We require more minerals. Okay. Pretty soon, I think I'd like to go ahead and expand so I can get more gas and more mineral income. We require more minerals. Our forces are under attack. Okay. I think I came out of that ahead, actually. that thing and this guy as well now I can go ahead and expand as I came out of that like I said ahead a little bit there so I can put a hatchery here and I can continue working on this this should be researched fairly no it's almost done but not quite I'm getting a pretty menacing force of mutas here which is great news for me I want to go ahead and make some of them so that I can morph them into banelings and have a bit more ground forces. Complete. Okay, that is done, so I can go ahead and start working on level 2 of that. And my mineral field down there is completed, so I'm going to go ahead and expand down here as well. We require more Vespin gas. We require more minerals. Okay. There's that. And I've got 12 there. 19 there. Still a ways from having that we top one. So I'm just going to kind of leave it as is for now. Put a few of those into bay links. And then I'm gonna try to do an attack here. That popped. That popped. Mineral field depleted. Okay, so that is done. So I'm going to go ahead and send at least some of these guys up here so that I can get started on that. You, let me an extractor there, and I want one of those as well to also get an extractor. Okay. Mineral field depleted. 
And I'm gonna send all of my new drones up here. Mineral Give me a couple field. more of them, Dip and yeah. Send my army across there. I need to add this to my little, little five list as well. We require more Vespian gas. Just got a huge army coming here, and I'm not sure what for. Don't know where it's going. Okay, so here it is. We require more Vespian okay. gas. Mineral field depleted. And I do have these up here now, so I do have that going. I can go ahead and start working on that. This needs the hive, which of course requires that. And then all of you guys need to come on up here. Okay, so he still doesn't have a base there, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to see if he's got one over here. I don't really want to go into his main base yet. He does have something over here. I think I can just melt through this, because I've got a lot of guys. I am gonna lose a lot of my guys. At the same time, I think it'll be worth it. Maybe not. Maybe not. I did just lose my entire army there. So yeah, apparently that was a bit heavier defended than I thought it was. And that was a pretty big mistake on my part. I... We require more Vespian gas. I'm going to try to macro up and recover from that massive, massive error of mine. Hopefully I'll be able to, but I really don't know. Because if he were to attack right now, I think I would come out well behind. We require more Vespian gas. I do at least have that. I'm gonna send some of these guys down here. And as soon as they get there, I'm going to set we them on Vespian. Vespian but I also need to make some more, just in general, drones. Because... Oh, running a bit low on minerals as well. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Okay, there's that, there's that. Mutation complete. That's done. And I can go ahead and start working on this. Okay. We require more minerals. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. We require more minerals. Need more minerals, need more minerals, yes, yes, I know. I'm working on I'm I'm kind of happy he didn't immediately decide to counterattack here because had he, I would have ended up in a whole lot more trouble than I am in. I could probably actually take his army again now, I think, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm wondering if I might should level up my, get, get like an Evo Chamber and work on ground forces because I don't have many ground forces at the moment and I don't have very powerful ground forces at the moment. And oh crap. More 
of Espion gas. So that is gone. I am launching a counterattack here, and oh my gosh, he's got a lot of defenses. <laughs> Get lost, he says. I don't think I could take his uh, little counter, his, his defenses there. He's got a lot of defenses. I think I'm probably going to lose this one, but we shall see. More Vespian gas. Always more Vespian gas. I know. Yeah, I really think that I'm not going to be winning this one. Okay. These guys are kind of lazing around. Come on down. Unfortunately, I only have two bases at the moment getting Vespian gas, which is pretty terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and build me a hatchery over here. And really. Well, that's interesting. Not sure what exactly is up with that. Okay. See, the thing is, I've got a lot of minerals. I just don't have much gas, so I really need. What's that? I can't tell. Unfortunately, that is my entire army. So. If he decides to realize that that is my entire army, things are not going to be pretty for me. So yeah, Zerg, as you can see here, Zerg is definitely my weakness. surprised by how much he actually put into the defenses there because that is a huge number of defenses and I really am kind of shut down by that. I really do not know what I'm doing enough to get around that. But it kind of seems like he still hasn't expanded past his two bases here. So I'm going to scout around and see. Oh, hey look, there's his, there's his army. I really wish I could click on them, but I can't. Yeah, they went my army again. Yeah, I don't see myself winning this one, especially since I can't seem to get enough Vespian gas. I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing wrong on that. I think I just don't have enough bases collecting it. But I don't know. Yeah. I'm always in a state of not having enough Vespine. So, yeah. If you see something I'm doing wrong, just let me know. And let me know what exactly I can do to make sure that I'm not constantly out of Vespine like I am. Because I've, I've had this pretty much every time I go against Zerg. They're able to make a lot more Mutalisks than I am. And it seems like they're doing it on fewer bases. And it is really confusing to me. So... If you don't mind, if you do know what exactly I'm doing wrong here, just let me know, and I will try to fix it, because it's kind of sad. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you guys next time. Have a good night. Bye.